I was in high school, uh, you know, 14, 15 years old, when I first heard of Robert Johnson and um, you know how he sold his soul at the crossroads. And uh, a lot of that to me was very interesting as I was uh, learning about the blues and how it you know, kind of began and where it all came from. I was on tour uh, through San Antonio um, several years back and uh, stumbled upon the Gunther Hotel. And uh, got a chance, the, the, uh, the guy that was there was very cool. Uh, he let me go check out the room. So I, I got to go upstairs and, uh, and go in, uh, into room 414. Um, and, and ever since that, uh, that time that I, that I had walked right into the room, you know, I felt, uh, I felt that presence, that feeling. You know, I just knew right away it was something that I had to do. You know, it wasn't something that uh, I, I thought about very long. I just knew um, I got to do it, you know. And, and so uh, getting back into that room again, uh, about a year or two after that, I had a chance to stay there in the room and, uh, and getting to play some of those songs and getting to learn some of his material for the first time uh, was just uh, a very amazing experience just to feel, you know, and, and to hear uh, you know, some of the some of the same sounds that uh, Robert Johnson would have experienced uh, back in 1936 at that time. I spent the last three years uh, honing in on Robert Johnson's playing style and uh, really focused in uh, on more of the, the feeling side of it and more of the way uh, he would sing the songs, uh, some of the wording and, and the terminology that he used, how things are different from the 30s to nowadays and, and certain expressions and the way things were sung back then versus now. And uh, I really got a really good feel for it uh, and, it's, and it's something that I feel like is a part of me now and in the, the same sense in the way that he felt and the way that he pushed his music is the same way that I'm going to record it.